Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now, great to be with you and to share a question that I often get asked by patients who have come and had an angiogram and they say, well, how do you get from the wrist where you pass the tube to my heart? Well, let's go through some of the tools of the trade. Now, here is how we do it. This is a catheter, and you can see here, it's a catheter that is quite long, and it's about uh, one meter long, sometimes a bit longer, and it comes in a package that is sterile, and it's with this catheter that we actually look at the arteries and inject dye, and, and on one end we have the part that we place our equipment in through here, and then it goes through, and we pass it through the wrist, and at the tip, there is a pre-made bend here. You can see the shape. And different catheters have different shapes. And these catheters are pre-shaped to allow us to access the coronary arteries. So this particular shape here is one that we place into the left coronary artery. So it curves around the bottom part of the aorta. And that bit of the tip here passes into the artery. And through there is where we inject our dye to do the angiogram. And we then also introduce our equipment through this end. The wires, the little balloons, the stents all go through here. And they go through from the wrist all the way up the forearm, around the collarbone, the shoulder, and down into the vessel called the aorta. And then from there, we position them by manipulating them from the outside to actually introduce these, uh, these catheters through in the artery. And all our equipment is passed through here, and it's normally about a two millimeter diameter hole that allows us to put all our equipment in and that's how we do it. When we do an angiogram, when we do a procedure called an angioplasty, we use these catheters to pass all our equipment and to successfully be able to perform the angiogram and unblock an artery if it needs treating. Hope you found that interesting. Till the next one, bye for now.